All right, guys, time for another beer review. Uh, I'm doing Colette Farmhouse Ale from Great Divide. Uh, really strong brand out here in Denver. Um, I guess when they were naming it, the brewers were uh, basically saying, if you were driving down Belgium and you see a hot chick shoveling hay, what would her name be? And that's what I think for the beer. So pretty interesting, um, different glass, not my normal guy. Uh, this is from Colorado Pint Day, so I figure, you know, let's do this for the Saison. Um, it is a Saison beer. I believe it's 25B. Let's take a quick look. And they call it like a farmhouse Saison. Um, let me just confirm the category. Yep, uh, 25B Saison. Um, yeah, so just kind of a quick overview. Um, the gravity should be about 1.065 on the high end to 1.048 in that range um, for your starting. And then your final gravity should be uh, anywhere from 0 0.002 to 1.008. Your IBU should be between 20 and 35. SRM the color. If it's on the paler side, just like this beer, uh, should be between uh, five and 14. On the darker end, it can be on 15 to 22. So really, I don't know why they just don't say between five to 22. Like, hey, just a big color range. I don't know, just curious, interesting. And then ABV, if it's a table, three and a half to five. Um, standard is five to 7.3. And then super is seven, or excuse me, uh, five to seven. And then super is seven to 9.5. Uh, according to untapped, this is a 7.3. So it's in that super category. And the IBU is 35. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, the aroma should have sp uh, fruit, spice, hoppy characteristics. Uh, esters from the yeast can be pretty high. Um, you know, tropical fruits, lemons, oranges, those are in there. Um, and then the malt should be pretty low on this guy. However, if this was more on the darker side, and I wonder if that's why they have it split into two, uh, the malt should be more, more noticeable. All right. I do get a bit of a tartness on, off the aroma. Um, more lemony than anything. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit tart. I one sip every one of the rules. You know, really drinkable. Um, let's see what it says about flavor. Um, you know, fruity, soft malt characteristics with some grainy flavors. Bitter is typically moderate to high, although sourness can be present. Um, it should never be sweet, and I definitely did not get a sweetness. If anything, I got a little bit of lemon, but it wasn't sour or tart. I can definitely see this, like, sneaking up on you, to be honest with you. Like, I don't feel like it's 7.3% uh, alcohol, but according to Untapped, it is. And, should say on the can, right? Limit to say the alcohol. So, huh. The can has it at 6.5%. So I wonder if like they changed it. And that's why. Like if it was higher or untapped just wrong, but I thought the breweries had control on what they post on untapped. So I'm not sure. Um so again, 6.5 is still pretty strong. It doesn't I mean it feels close to a table. Like if you told me this was 5.5, I would believe you. Um, what 
let's see, the balance towards fruit, spice, hop characteristics. Yeah, um... I love the aroma. It tastes is pretty solid. It's not like anything overbearing. It is balanced. Um, you know, there's a bit of spiciness, but like there's also not even spiciness. It's just kind of everything's just kind of there. Um, I do enjoy this. Um, I'm going to say 38 out of uh, 50. All right, have a good one.